So we're back again, with yet again another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we have made our way all the way to the Desert Colossus, and discovered like the first shrivel of the Spirit Temple, but we can do nothing in there right now. In this episode, we're going to go and take on the first half as a child. Let's go and do that right now by warping back to the Temple of Time and doing our duties. You know, I really never fathomed as a kid, like, how genius a dungeon can be by having you go back in time and take on all of your knowledge of the past and the future at the same time. Uh, but hey, that is what we have to do. With that, let's go back to the past again. And little Munchkin Link is going to take on a giant grown-up dungeon. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but with that, let's go back to the Desert Colossus with the song. So, as much as it pains me to admit it, uh, we have to still use our magic beans and a bug that we uh, so currently possess. This will be the last time that we will ever do it. So, sad day. But, let's go ahead and put them to use right beyond this wall here at the Spirit Temple. And find out what's beyond this little soy grotto. Let's go ahead and plant this bean right there. Alright. As well as put the bug here. This will be the 92nd Sculptula, so... Pretty cool there as well. Alright, go and wait for it to pop on out of the little grotto there. Alright. 90 second Skulltula right on the side of the Spirit Temple in the grotto. Awesome. Let's approach our way in and find out what awaits. Now with the health gathered here, we can go and approach to the left and see that Noboru is just chilling on the baseline or right beyond this little hole in the wall. Let's see what she has to say. I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Uh, you want to go ahead and approach the answer of nothing, really, because if you select any of these other two, she will just say, well, I don't have time for that. But, hey. Nothing, really. You have nothing to do. What good timing. Can you do me a favor, kid? Wait a second. I want to ask you first. You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? What if I am? <laughs> uh, but no, I hate Ganondorf with a burning passion still. Aha. Uh -huh. You've got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Naboru of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race only consists of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that lone male Gerudo must become king of Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what is your name, kid? LSP. What kind of name is that? You don't know by now that this was my previous username on YouTube? Come on. Well, anyway. I want to ask you a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very heavy things. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't even fit a little kid like you if you try to equip them. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Ganondorf and his minions are using the spirit temple as a hideout. Only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? What if I don't feel like it? Short. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can successfully get the Silver Gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. You know, with as great and loyal as Naboru sounds right now, she might not be very trustworthy at this point, considering that Link just met her, so... <laughs> I have to go ahead and use my IQ skills in this room because uh, there will be some keys in here kind of foiling our plans at this very point, but let's go ahead and equip the 
slingshot and get these keys on that past wall right there. Oh, that was a miss. Oh. Right there. There we go. There should be one more floating keys. Flying keys. Let's go ahead and take him out. Uh, I should probably just go ahead and use and approach the keys. Keys, you want to allow me to kill you, man? Thank you. That was very daunting, considering that, considering that I only had one uh, Deku Seed left, but let's go ahead and... Oh, Deku Seed. That... That Armos is dead anyway. He's he's dead, but hey, since we killed all the enemies in this room, I can now finally use the Deku Nuts, according to this room right here, because there will be a Stalfos in here. Kind of difficult to fight as a kid, because you're not very tall, but... Hey. Go ahead and kind of stun him there. Uh, it's not... Okay, that was way easier than I thought, but hey, I'll, I'll take that. That is not what I experienced in practice, but, uh, bubble. Bubble. Thank you. That took way longer than expected, but hey, go ahead and toss your boomerang along the baseline of this gate and knock down that bridge. And I'm going to use my IQ skills here as well to kind of, uh, avoid those pots there. Crack open that chest and we will get a blue rope. But hey, nothing else in this room, really. Okay, and now with this, there will be a floating minion uh, right above... What's his name, actually? I just want to be sure again. The Anubis. It's vulnerable to fire. Um, since we are a kid, we cannot actually use fire arrows, but hey, considering that there's a switch over there to kind of summon fire, I can't really find a good use for it, considering that it's just going to float around, but use Din's fire and it'll be easy-peasy. Much, much easier. Okay? Okay. Go ahead into this room, and obtain the next skull tool right in here, but it's going to be a little bit of a ways away since we have to open the gate first. Open the gate? Who do you hate? Oh my god. Would you Like, you see what you get me into, man? It's like, you get me with references that are just like, uh, kind of useless, but funny at the same time, but I... I gotta say, I wanted to kill the floor master, the wall master, whatever you want to call it. It's a wall master since it kind of came from the ceiling. Let's go ahead and fight him. Alright. Go ahead and just... Chop them on open. There you go. Obtain these silver rupees here. Actually, no, no, no. What I'm going to go ahead and do, actually, is climb up this side first because what the game wants you to do is get that one last because in the cutscene that the gate drops, it will drop you right behind that skull tool and you'll just take damage. So I'm using my IQ skills here. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> anyway, with that, there we go. See how it fell automatically? Yeah. Crazy, I know. But. Use our little spin attack there, and kind of use our Din's Fire to equip, or not equip, but light those torches there as well. And that will spawn a chest. Okay? Easy peasy enough, right? And if you heard that sound, that was the sound, sound of a Skull dying. Right over there on the gate. Let's go ahead and pick him up. That is our 93rd Skull So there you go. Awesome. Uh, I'm just using as much knowledge as I have at the Spirit Temple right now, because... Getting every chest in here will be a little bit of a challenge, but hey, uh, this is the key, since we can approach that next room with it. Okay. Alright. With that dead ahead, just go on and approach this locked door right into this little hole. Crawl on through. We won't have any problems. Okay, and with this, we can just kind of crack that on open. And in this pot, if you don't have them, there will be some uh, slingshot seeds right there. You want to go ahead and take out these skull tools on the wall. Not a gold of the skull tool, but these ones that'll just kind of uh, chase you around the wall if you happen to get spotted by one. But uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and equip the bombs here as well, considering that I'm going to be using them as a room anyway, as well as the slingshot, because there will be two hidden chests in this specific room if you don't happen to hit that switch. But go ahead and get the 94th skull tool. Hello. There we go. Kill him. I, I shoot him. I shoot him. Anyway, 94th Skull Tool. I'm going to go ahead and make sure anyway because uh, my instincts. My instincts. Yep. 94. I, I, I feel... I'm making sure my confidence is correct. Okay. <laughs> anyway, hit that switch and you will spawn two hidden chests in the room. Okay. A little bit of a bomb tree there, but hey. And open this on chest on up. And we will get a rupee. A, a little blue rupee. Now, normally we would use bomb shoes. But I ain't going to do that. I'm going to use my IQ skills here. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot in this episode. I'm going to go ahead and 
Throw that bomb there and blow open that hole in the wall. I really should be demonstrating bomb chews, but hey, I'm going to be doing that later on in uh, Ganon's Tower anyway, right? <laughs> go ahead. And, yeah. yeah, there was a Lizalfos there. I'm going to go ahead and avoid him. But go ahead and push this Armos right off of here. He doesn't come alive, don't worry. He's not coming to life. And there will be a blue switch down there that he just landed on. And he will unlock that door right above us. So there you go. Okay. And up the stairs we go. I gotta say, as daunting as the Spirit Temple is, we have a lot to explore. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and take these Beemos on up. Because they will be in the way for the most part. Ouch. That's gonna be the third Beemos. And we're gonna go ahead and get some gems. Some good old gems here. I'm, I'm down for collecting some silver rupee gems, right? Alright. That is the first one. And that's the second, right on top of this little ledge. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the next one. Right all about y'all. Okay. Right all about y'all. Right all about y'all. There you go. I gotta say, if I were to listen to the Spirit Temple's theme in a car ride, it's like the most fire and just vibing music ever. Even though it's like meant to be evil and the bad place of the Gerudos, but man, it is just... It has a killer instinct when it comes to a Zelda soundtrack. I mean, come on. You gotta admit. But let's go ahead and equip our good old deck of sticks here and go ahead and light these torches on across the room. That's one. That's two. That is three. Now we're not done exactly um, right after we get this chest because there will be a sunblock that you can go ahead and uh, set off with the light coming out of the wall here. Since we have the key, that area with the light coming in through the window really does again remind me of the ancient castle of Kana in Majora's Mask where you can burn the curtain. Like I mentioned in the Wind Waker's uh, Earth Temple, but you can pull this block back and... Uh, I see it's a little bit of a game to kind of get that sunblock out of there, but not the sunblock that you rub on your skin before going for a swim, but let's go ahead and pull this back over and over, and we will be set for the rest of the dungeon. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Let's just pull it on back and see what awaits us. And there we go. That door unlocked. We can finally proceed. With everything in this room kind of cleared up and ready to go. There will be a Skulltula right above this door when I uh, go on through. So let's make sure we have our uh, slingshot ready as well. Turn it on and back around. And the 95th Skulltula will be right here. He's our boomerang and there he is. 95th Skulltula, there you go. Okay. Let's pick up these pots. Well. Awesome. Go on through the door. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Dark Nut. But I will announce that he does take a lot of damage from you. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of hearts from you if you happen to get hit. It's like a good six or five. But hey, let's go ahead and actually demonstrate the use of Neighbor's Love here. Since I really don't... I kind of have like this habit of Zelda games where if I get something, I don't really use it. I just say that I have it. But let's go ahead and demonstrate it anyway. Yep. If I were to get hit there for real, I would have taken like five hearts of damage. But... Let's go ahead and jump attack and repeat. And if you don't have Nehru's Love, you can always uh, lure him over to one of the pillars and get uh, more health out of him. Let's actually uh, lure him over to this one, see if I can get health out of it. Come on. You can do it. Uh, apparently, since the game doesn't want me to be right, uh, it's just going to spawn... But there's health in there, I promise. And there we go. That Dark Nut is down. Alright. Going on in. Yeah. Hey, what's up, LSP? Surprised to see me. 
A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. LSP, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all the people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic against them. Hoot hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? You know what? Yes. From now on, all of their, like, trust and respect is upon me. Use their own magic power against them. Hoot hoot. Huh. With that, goodbye, Kapori Gabora. I'm gonna miss you, man. I will continue to watch you. Hoot hoot hoot. Goodbye, friend. With that, we can crack on open this chest and find out what is inside. We have the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. Plus, you promised you would give them to Naboru. You should keep your word. Hey, where are you taking me? Yeah, let me go. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions. LSP, get out of here, now. These witches, they're using black magic on me. Not on my watch. I don't think so. But hey, I know that it's a little bit of a short episode, but we're going to go ahead and end things off right here. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and take on the second half of the Spirit Temple as an adult, since we have the Silver Gauntlets now. With that, stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment, or anything else. And peace out, everyone.